never get enough track oh! Oh! going up nobody clicking back now i just got some more subs them things were back to back to back now what the fuck is going on you know party in the weekend ain't got no motherfucking time to rap on every podcast that's why i need your help let's go i wish i could post music every podcast that would be dope Anyway, having a lot of fun with that. What's good? Good morning. Happy coffee time. Happy morning. Happy birds chirping. We're up. I had too many goddamn dreams last night. It's Topic Tuesday. Welcome. That was uh, the song Tuesday, if you didn't know, by Drake. Um, Is Drake's new album, Care Package, uh, a mix of old songs and new songs? I don't know. Do I think that they're all, all old songs? Because I don't know if I know all of his old songs. Yes. But there are some that I haven't heard, which is on me. But I like the old ones as well, and I've been listening to it. So now Drake's on my mind. But what else is new? Nothing else is new besides that. Um, first off, i got to shout out to Max Out Muscle. My boy, Corey G Fitness, sent me Aminos. Pre- oh, this is pre-workout. i got to stay away from that this morning. Woo! And, um, yeah, and, and CBD topicals. I love the CBD topicals. You rub it on my muscles and then it's like, it feels good. And then all of a sudden it's like, gets in my brain. Like, oh, I know it's seeping into my skin. And next thing you know, it's healing, whatever it does. I don't even know what it does, but then I just let the psychosis take over and we're good. We're good. Topic Tuesday. I have the paradox of choice. I can't think of any new T words. So we're just going to keep it with, uh, as much as I can. Um, so before I forget, I want to give some recommendations. First off, Apple Music and Spotify, there's this new artist, Stephen Sally. Uh, he put one single out, Enjoying. <laughs> it's on It's on like live uh, audio platforms. It's incredible. It's funny. I use this. If you're curious, I use this thing called DistroKid. It was some, uh, you pay money for the year and it's, it's on there for a year. So go check that out. It's pretty crazy that my stuff's on Apple Music. It makes me feel, um, I'm actually not worried, but what's the word? Like uh, embarrassed because it's like a real platform now. It's not just like SoundCloud. So I feel like fucking dumb for posting it there, but it's hilarious. Um, And the other thing I wanted to recommend was Aubrey Marcus. I'm going to listen to his first new podcast today. Aubrey Marcus is a huge podcast that I really like. He talks about spiritual things and the journey of life and just overall a lot of topics, even on non-Tuesdays. And he's great. And he came out with a series yesterday. Uh, about books. So he's going to go over his favorite books and read an excerpt for, from it. So I'm really excited for that because it feels like he's going to be the net nugget excavator that I was early on in this podcast where I read a book and gave you the nuggets I liked. And I really respect him and love his information he always gives. So I'm excited about that. And I wanted to share in that. Um, and I posted him on my story and he replied, was it actually him? I don't know, but it feels good. And it'd be, it's pretty cool that he, am I famous now? Yes, I'm famous now. Um, Anyway, I had too many dreams. One of the dreams was, what was it? It was funny. Oh, it was like the biggest storm of all time. And it was, ra- I went to sleep yesterday and it was raining and it was raining like insane. And then it cleared up and there was like the most stars ever. And they were like moving like crazy, but I had too many dreams. I can't remember them. Did I have trouble falling asleep last night because I was anxious to do this podcast and I was like thinking of ideas? Yes. Was my heart racing? Yes. Was it because of the pre-workout? Probably. Did I look at my Fitbit? This be like, man, my heart's really pumping. And look at it. It said 123 beats. I was like, Jesus. And I started like writing stuff because I'm like, I got to wait for my heart to calm down before I'm even going to get a chance to sleep. Then did I realize that that was the wrong indicator? That was like the weird energy thing that they have. And my heart was normal. It was around like 60. And I was like, oh, I definitely just was in my head because I thought it was 120. I'm like, oh yeah, it is beating pretty fast. So I don't know what it was because I only had a little bit of pre-workout tastes really good, but I don't, I had to wean myself onto it because I usually only have coffee. As you can tell, I don't really need much to get me going. And so the pre-workout was good. Jumped yesterday. Hamstring feels pretty good today. We shall see. This is how I want you to approach your, uh, your training. I don't even know what this podcast is about, but I have a couple, maybe it's mindset. What could I say about mindset? There's three things. One, I'm going to try to keep it coherent. Ready? Was there anything I missed before I get into this? I think that's it. One is how to approach your training, which I'll get into how I'm doing in my training. Then your body's a potion. And the last is how to flow through life. Ready for this? Packing it all in. I was thinking that these are good, different ideas, but I'm packing it all in. So you get so much value because tomorrow I'll just bring even more. Um, so my training yesterday was like the first day of rehab jumping, meaning I wanted to go to the gym and jump to get that stimulus. Cause I need that high intensity exercise to keep my body regulated. I'm feeling lean as shit, which is what the body of potion is part is about segment two. 
Um, so I'm feeling really good, but jumping is a really great high intensity workout that I need to keep regular. Cause if not, I have to figure something out because I lift too. I lift my upper body and, um, like my scheduling of eating and different things like that. I need that stimulus of the high explosive activity. That's why I'm doing a lot of muscle ups to keep that explosive mentality. Um, not just me, but like my body to think I'm working explosive. So anyway, my hamstrings hurt and it hurts when I take long strides. So I try to do a high intensity workout with jumping that doesn't, in, in, uh, entail, doesn't include is the word I was looking for long strides. So I did vert jumps. I did very slow approach where I take a very baby penultimate. I didn't feel the pull in my hamstring. It still hurt, but not nearly as much as a full approach. So I'm thinking if I, I'm going to it feels pretty good today. It doesn't feel worse. So I'm going to see how it goes. If it doesn't get progressively better in the next week or two, I'm going to taper off even more. So yesterday was like a test to see if I can handle that. And then I did some like squat holds where I just like go in a really deep squat. And the reason I'm doing that is because my hips are the cause of my hamstring tension. They're super tight, which is making my lower back super tight, which is pulling my hamstrings up. So if that makes sense. So all of that is um, connected um, and my main issue is a hamstring, but I doesn't, I don't think my ham, my hamstrings are actually loose. They're just getting yanked up on my lower back, which is getting pulled f- up because of my tight hips. It's like my hips. If you're looking on like, they're like rotating. It's like a circle. Hips are tight, pulling it down my front of my body down, pulling the back of my body up, which is pulling my hamstrings up. Um, but my hips are super tight and I know it's my hips cause I have like such limited mobility in all exercises using the hips. And I always have, and I, I don't, I have really not the most, the best in, uh, anatomy, but still I can get, I can improve. And here's the thing on my last, one of my Instagrams, people talked about my squat form. You don't need to go that low, but for my case, since I'm so far gone and like the flexibility will alleviate tension on my hamstrings, I believe it's necessary for me. And there's just a level of flexibility. I feel like there's a level of flexibility that's healthy and some that's like unnecessary. Not that it's going to be a detriment, but it might, it might be, it also is like the more flexible, the better, but you have to have like the jumping stimulus. So you don't want to just be like super flexible and not doing any jumping. You're just going to be like a limb, like a loosey goosey Gumby guy. <laughs> um, so you don't want that, but you got to figure it out. Now back to the body's a potion. My body's the leanest it's ever been. If you see, I'll post it right here on this podcast. My picture I took yesterday at this computer acting like <laughs> I'm working, I'm flexing hard as shit. My body's the most defined it's ever been, but I'm like the same weight. I have more muscle and it's crazy lean in the way I like to think about it. It's, it's all my diet. Um, and it's more about, I, I was always eating healthy, but now it's about getting different nutrients and also the timing of things and the way I can put it, I'll try to go into the diet. Uh, maybe I'll have my boy Justin on another time. Cause I don't even really know why it's working. I just know it's working cause I was like consulting with him and also I'm starting to, I'm been thinking about it for the past few months, three, four months. So as I eat something, I kind of see how I feel and you build that awareness and that's how you have to go through all your training. So one thing that with the body's a potion thing is think of your body as a magic potion and you're a mad scientist. And so when you're feeling crazy lean and crazy healthy, that means you put all the chemicals in with the right amounts at the right time. So like I say, you have like 20 different things that go into this one potion to make the magic happen. You can't just dump them all in at once. You can't put like potion three before potion nine, whatever it is, you know, or I guess you would put that. But my point is, is like whatever the order is, whatever the mixture is, you got to put them in at the right amount, the right time. I'm just like picturing like a mad scientist putting like a little drop like a tiny little drop in that like spark something. So that's how you got to feel. Um, and a quick tip on like what I do is I intermittent fast. I usually have some coffee. And then before the gym, I'll have, if I go to the gym in the afternoon, I'll have some fruit because I feel like that's good for my muscles to have that like energy. It's like a little bit of sugar, but something about glycogen and shit fills me out, whatever. And then I go to the gym, work out. And then after that, I have more like dates, like really high concentrated sugar fruit, but only a couple of them let my insulin spike. And then I have my protein and my, my veggie drink, um, that has all these nutrients. So it just absorbs those nutrients like crazy. And then I have my big meal. Um, and that's kind of how it's been working and that's pretty much the most of it. But then it's just about the hydration, different things to look crazy, like with your veins popping out and that's it. And the last thing about everything is like your mind. It's all about flowing, right? So yesterday when my heart was racing and I was writing down ideas, sometimes I'd have ideas come to me like crazy and I'd go off on tangents and go nuts. But then when I was like, okay, I want to keep doing that. When I like consciously try to do it, it was like a block. So it's, it's the fine balance of just being in the moment. So you can't force the words to come out as soon as you try to think of words. If you ever try to do a podcast like I'm doing now, I can't say, okay, what am I going to say next? I just have to kind of do it. You have to do it as you're 
thinking about it, but not, you have to just be aware of it. It's really tough to explain, but I actually came up with an analogy to think about it. So if it's, it's more for creative things, but it's also when you're working out as well. So the flowing analogy is like you're sitting on a river and you're flowing with the current, right? And when you're trying to say, you're trying to make a song, if you're trying to say like, okay, I want to come up with a line right here instead of just letting the thoughts come to you. Or if you're trying to come up with an idea or whatever you're trying to do creatively, you have to let it come to you. And when you're trying to force it, when you're trying to force words, um, you're going to be paddling down the river instead. It's like the current's not moving and you're paddling. So all your energy is going to paddling. But if you're able to just like relax and let it come to you and and be in it, be in the energy instead of try to force the energy. For example, comedy is a good one. It's like you're trying to be funny, you're forcing it, you're paddling. But if you just want to like enjoy being funny and kind of think about funny things and make yourself laugh, then you're on the current, you're flowing. And what that means is that you're not paddling anymore. You get to just like enjoy the current and look around. And that's the key. You get to look around, you get to look at the sky, the trees, uh, observe things and you're just, you get to be in the environment while you're traveling. Does that make sense? So that's the analogy. And that's, that's kind of how it feels if you're, when you're in that zone, when you're in that flow state. Um, and that flow state is like the best feeling of life. And what, how I used it last night is when I was trying to sleep, um, since my heart was racing a little bit and I was a little anxious, I was trying to sleep and I was, I usually can meditate where I just focus on my breath and that kind of relaxes me, but I wasn't relaxing. And I think cause I was like, I wanted to sleep so badly cause I worked out hard and it was just tough. I was just like, I wasn't had a good day. I wasn't that tired yet. Um, so I was trying to sleep, trying to sleep. And I kept thinking like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, which I usually do. And then I meditate and it goes away, but I couldn't do it. So then instead of trying to do something, like it's like your brain needs a task. I started thinking how comfortable I am, which is what I do when I meditate anyway. But I'm like, you know what? If I don't fall asleep, just enjoy laying here. So then I just enjoyed laying there. And then I felt my body relax finally for the first, it was like, an, I was laying there for like, an hour before I felt relaxed. So like the second I let go, it's that art of letting go and being in that moment. It's the same type of thing. It's like I was trying to sleep, trying to meditate to sleep, trying not to think. And I do that a lot, but it was a different feeling and it's hard to find the right way to use your mind. And that is it. Let's go to the on this day in history. Thanks. That was it. Packed. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I'm going to go back to the tutorials too. I know you guys like the dunk tutorials. Please let me know what you thought about the last one. I get um, and the last two, which is the, the windmills, the easiest dunk and the lob off the dribble the off versus off the dunk <laughs> off the lob. All right. So on the 20, cause I love doing those tutorials, but I need more time for those, bro. I need more time for the wraps. I need more time for the tutorials. If not, you're just, all you're going to, if you don't help me out, all you're going to get is such valuable nuggets like today on topic twos that your, your top is going to get so turmoiled. Okay, August 27th. Oh, I love when they're old ones. 479 BC, Greco-Persian Wars, the Battle of Plataea, Persian forces led by Mardonius routed by... How do they know these people? How the hell do they have record of Mardonius routed by the Greek army under Pausanias? Isn't that crazy that these people are real? Battle of Mikhail halts Persian invasion of Greece. What's happening? Oh, is everything... Is it still recording? Why does it sound like it stopped? Sorry. Oh, it's still going. Sorry. Um, 1883, Krakatoa volcano west of Java and then erupts. Damn, okay. Today in film, 1964, Walt Disney's Mary Poppins premieres in Los Angeles. Music too, Mary Poppins. Oh, that's in music and film. Wow. 2004, German kayaker Birgit Fischer wins gold in K4 500 meter. Cool. All right, now we got a special dunk lifer of the day. It's my boy Spaceman G. He said, I don't fuck a give. <laughs> it's a review on the podcast. Five stars, baby. Hashtag IDFAG. The show makes me want to yam like it's Thanksgiving Day. Quick question. If you could choose any one beverage in the entire galaxy to replace water, what would it be? Oh, this beverage would replace water in all ways and have the same health benefits. I'm personally thinking yoo but I don't know how I feel about having brown oceans. Oh, yeah scrumptious so conflicted wwscd i don't even know what that means what the f ww what would steven selly do oh did i get it i think i got it oh that's hilarious if i could replace water it would replace water in all ways oh like a fucking ocean i thought you were saying like a for nutrients replace water in all ways hmm can we do coconut water because then everybody's hydrated let's think um, what would make everybody better? 
I don't know, man. Electrolyte water? I don't want to hurt the fish, though. I don't want to hurt the fish. I don't want brown oceans either. I don't know. I'm going to go with, if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with um, liquidation. That's my answer. Also, if I do a reverse between the legs, is it a West Bay? What if I'm facing Jerusalem? Toodles. <laughs> if you're facing, if you do a reverse between the legs, yes, it's a West Bay. Not, not, don't hold me to that. And, but I'm just making it up. And yes, we can create whatever we want. We create our own reality. If you're facing Jerusalem, it's called a, um, I don't know. What should we call that? A fucking, what do they call that when you travel? Pilgrimage Bay? Pilgrim Bay? <laughs> you go to the homeland, the home bay? Call it the home bay. All right, that's it. Toodaloo. And I can't say anything after that, except I'm saying it now. So have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.